Air signs, I hope you're doing well. This is a touch of tarot, and this is just going to be the end of a month reading just to see what the final message is for you or what you may need to know about. Who knows? Let's see what's coming up. It's going to be Aries, Sagittarius, and then Leo. Okay, so first we're going to start ooh, with Aries. We have this little group of cards, and I feel, is there five cards here? Yes, there is. Okay, so let's begin. Wow. We're starting with the three of swords. So the situation here has to do with heartache, Aries. You could be very sad about something going on. You may be mourning the loss of someone as well because there is three people here, right? Usually it's just a heart that's been hurt. I do feel like you and maybe some others are mourning a loss of either a relationship, a person, um, something's gone sour something's gone south something has ended um there's a formal energy here to this as well it could be a marriage you know there could have been an ending to a marriage here i am seeing two men and i'm not sure if that's relevant um and one woman the woman's face is covered here now that may be normal or traditional for some people during funerals um but i just feel like there's someone here that does have a bit of a covering over their face, which could be to their truth. Okay, Aries, let's see what else we have here. So what's the challenge? The challenge really is that there has been an ending and it's left a burden for someone. So whatever has happened here, um, someone is left here stuck in the middle of things, stuck trying to deal with this situation on their own. It doesn't feel good. You know, it could be the female here that has the burden because her face is covered. She may be trying to be strong, um, but this could be quite a uh, tricky situation. I'm seeing the Saturn energy, and I do believe Saturn goes, I don't know if it's possible to retrograde. I want to say something like that's happening, something that I, it's not what I'm used to saying. It's not like, I don't know, but I think Saturn goes retrograde coming up, okay? So let's see what the guidance could possibly be for this situation. We have the moon card. So what I'm really getting from this is that there will be something revealed to you that can help you um, with this situation, but it's not really quite telling us this could involve a Pisces or a Cancerian. Um, but I do feel like there's some sort of truth that will be coming out. It may be coming out within a month's time. Or this may be closing out this month, right? Because we just had the Scorpio full moon. Um, so there could be something coming to you. Just give it like maybe 24 hours, literally, right? So let's see what the second last card is. What to focus on here? Love. Now, I'm going to say a couple things here because this can go a couple ways. Maybe one relationship ended and it's time to just focus um, on the positive and let that go. But it could also be that if you're really in your head about something that's ended and it's really hurting you, um, being in the dark energy, feeling lack is not going to help. Uh, the bottom line here is, is to focus on love. There's something here. I think this has to do with you and someone else you're tied to. We're not getting into too many details here, but I will pull one more for the Three of Swords. But there's something here uh, with an attachment, and maybe the truth is coming out about a love affair now, um, or a lover now. You know, maybe someone has said what they had to say to somebody else, like it's over. Okay, let's see what the final card here is. And I mean, this is quite powerful. We have the Magician as the final card. Oh, is the outcome, right? This is about getting what you want in this situation. It's also about it happening naturally, to be honest. Like this mag magician, I mean, okay, maybe it's not naturally. Maybe it comes through your manifestations and your thoughts, and maybe you don't consider that naturally. But you don't have to do any tricks here. You don't have to, um, I don't know, pull one over anyone's anything here, okay? You just have to focus on what you want. So if there's been a really painful situation in the past and someone's carrying that along with them or they still carry that burden, 
it's really important to just focus on the connection you do want, because I do see a very important connection here. Like it's literally tied together. Um, so that's really interesting, right, Aries? Okay, let's clarify the Three of Swords. And maybe we should be clarifying with a totally different deck, right? Just to get a totally different vibe here. Okay, Three of Swords. So we have the Fool card and the Eight of Pentacles. What that's kind of telling me is that in the past, something had to end, um, this could have been public. That could be why there was so many people there. This is something that you did put a lot of work into, or someone put a lot of work into at least. Um, it's like a home they built, or I'm hearing like a fortress, or like something for a community. But there was definitely an ending with that. Someone wasn't really being all truthful in this situation either. Maybe they didn't want to put work into it anymore. And this is what had to come out. This is the truth that someone had to finally speak. Okay. Um, let's see what else. The challenge. Obviously, it was a challenge. Oh, my gosh. So we got the Ten of Wands clarified by the Ten of Wands. This definitely was a challenge. And I feel that it's because of money. I'm seeing the King of Coins, the Palace of Wands. Um there may have been property involved in this situation, a loss of property, a burden. Someone may have had to carry this property on their own now. You know, they had to take care of all of the financial obligations or all the work that this property may have needed here. Um, the conflict of this situation is just it did not feel good. It almost felt like whatever this ending was, that it definitely... Um, caused a huge weight on someone's shoulder. It's like, okay, I said goodbye to it, but it doesn't really feel good. Okay. So let's see what else we have. The guidance being the moon card. I find that very interesting, but look at here. We have the ace of coins. Um, the guidance, there is something here about... It's almost like knowing that you can handle this situation or this can be handled to not be afraid of it, to take your power back by probably using your own ability to whatever you have the ability to fix here. OK, um, it's weird. It's about coming out of your shell because it's almost the same imagery here, except it's <laughs> except it's a, a lobster. Mm. <laughs> it's a lobster going up towards this big circle, right? The moon. Um, someone is going to come out of their shell. They really are. They're really going to take hold of this situation and start focusing on the positive, on love, on something really good here, right? And green is the heart chakra energy. Okay, let's see what else. I feel like maybe a woman left a home or something like that. It's very possible. So for the lovers... We have the magician, and I do feel that at one point, someone was trying really hard to create this or to make something happen here, and you don't need to do that anymore. It definitely has to do with love here. Um, you don't need to do that. You need to not make an effort and just focus on how beautiful and special the connection actually is, right? And the outcome is that you do get what you want, right? Oh, look at that star card here. So you do get what you want. And remember I said, like, it comes quite effortlessly. And I got to tell you, Aries, I've seen the queen showing up and now I'm seeing the king showing up. The cards did not come out, but you could be getting involved with your perfect match, right? Like, seriously, these two kind of look like twins in a sense. There's a wish coming true. There's something coming true. I feel like you and this person are both very powerful. Um, whatever's happening here. I'm not quite sure what happened with this heartache. Like there was definitely, it's definitely coming from, look at that, a death. Literally someone could have died because there's three people here, right? There could have been like, you know, what I'm getting is like maybe there was even 
a pregnancy issue, right? That happened. And maybe someone was just trying to hang on to a relationship to be kind, to, um, I don't know, be gentle to someone else. And maybe some truths had to be spoken here. And yes, it was burdensome. It was heavy. Um, you know, but there's that energy of someone having to take control and it being a pretty big burden on them. It could have involved a child that is very real, okay? So really, whatever the Three of Swords was about, it was definitely about an ending one way or another. And I almost feel like it was actually an ending that took quite some time, like to fully release, to fully come out, to fully, whatever's happened now, now it's full, it's done, it's completed. Even with the moon energy, that's complete. And it's like the moon transfers to the sun with the ace of coins. And now it's time for this person to focus on the future and to focus on love. There's a very strong energy here about someone really being focused on what they want. And this is how they get the desired outcome. But it's actually happening no matter what. You don't have to put too much effort into this anymore, which is beautiful. Okay, Aries. So thank you so much. I'm going to move on. I really appreciate you. <laughs> Bye for now. <clears throat> Hi, Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your reading. I'm really excited to get into it. We're going to get five cards and see what your message is for the end of the month. Could be about literally anything. We will see what's coming up. One. So I'm just going to set these at the side while they come out. Two, three, four, okay, five. So let's see what's going on. I will say like in the beginning when I was shuffling the cards, I did see the star card and the nine of pentacles. You could have your eye on someone who's really like sparkly and shiny, or that could be you yourself as well. I just want to put that out there. Um, but also you could be kind of stuck because the way I just put the cards down as I look over here, look at how they are, the hangman and the nine of wands. So let's see what's coming up for you, Sag. The first card is going to give us an overall situation energy. Whoa, 10 of swords. So fire signs in general are going through some endings right now. This is really interesting. Um, but this is something that, you know, is over over you want it over or, or or if it's not over over you're sticking around in something that is torturing you one way or another um it's fractionating your spirit your energy your chakras fractionating i don't know if that's the right word but it's like separating them it's cutting it up it's it's not good um gosh for some of you i feel like like, you know the truth. And I feel like sometimes you just even say the truth, but you still keep yourself locked in a situation, Sag. Or it's almost like you're in a straight jacket and mixed with a joker jacket. So you're like stuck being a, a fool almost. Like there's something here like that, okay? Not putting you down at all. But this is the situation. The Ten of Swords, come on. Okay, what is the challenge here? Yeah, the Six of Swords. It's really about freeing yourself. That's the challenge here, Sag. I really feel like I'm dealing with the masculine energy. Um, doesn't matter. Someone needs to free themselves. But they're too focused on the past. It's so weird. It's just like, it looks like this person just continually looks at the past and focuses on the past and just, it's a challenge back there. Why? Why bother? Why not move forward, right? It is a challenge. <laughs> it's almost like this person is being pulled in another direction, but they're quite steadfast, focused on the past. What the heck? Huh. Okay, so let's see. Now, the guidance in this situation, we have the Princess of Pentacles. This would be the Page of Pentacles. This is about going in a new direction and having a fresh start elsewhere. This could be involving an earth sign. Because remember, I saw that earth energy there with the Aquarian energy um, in the beginning. 
there could be a single lovey, lovey. I don't know why I'm saying lovey. There could be a single lovely lady or person, you know, on the other side, once you turn around and stop focusing on the past, Sag, but we'll clarify a little more, but there could be a new beginning. Let's just put it like that, waiting for you, gifted to you, if you could only turn around. Really, okay? Because, I mean, this is the guidance. The guidance is to focus on a new beginning, if we just want to say it's simple, guidance, okay? Now, <laughs> the focus. Well, here's the focus. That's interesting. This is not about the focus. This is the guidance. The guidance is to have a new beginning. The focus, here we go, the five of cups, is to let go of the past, okay? I think your focus right now is too much on your lack and loss, and that's why you're stuck here. The guidance is to go for a new beginning, but you're so focused on what you have either messed up, lost, don't have. I mean, that's not how you get anything, right, Sag? And you know that. I'm sure you know that. That's not how you get anything. See the final outcome. Eight of Swords. Well, let me put this together and we'll do a little clarifying just to see and make sure. But what I get is, you know, you're stuck in a situation, probably a marriage of some sort that you will not leave just yet, even though you fully know it is time, time to go. This is not about the kids. This is not about anything. There's nothing left here. It's nothing but arguments every day or storm warning every day. Not if you were to go for this new beginning and just go in a new direction. It wouldn't be. But instead, you keep on running circles around with this um, other person. You're stuck. You're hanging on. That's why we see. And it looks like you're avoiding. I'm literally seeing under the hangman the judgment card. And then I'm seeing the ten of wands here. It's like you're just literally avoiding either separation, court, um, really, the mental conflict of that but really you're just causing yourself more conflict so the ten of swords energy let's see a little more oh you're getting the star card which is interesting i think you've been patient i think you've been trying to work something out non-stop i think you've gone around and ran in circles are my cards upside down no but i am seeing the ten of swords underneath here um wow fire signs are going through a lot right now so the Ten of Swords being clarified by the Star card, I'm actually going to say you may be dealing with an Aquarius to keep it real because there's no peace here. But there could be, remember I saw the Star card, um, there could be an Aquarius somewhere in the picture. The Aquarius could actually be where you want to be, okay? Um, the Aquarius energy was coming up with the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, I'm seeing this here. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles here again. So I'm wondering, what I'm thinking is that you're married to someone, maybe an air sign, sure, whatever, but there is someone special in your vicinity. I don't know if you're actually going towards that because you're so focused on what you don't have. But it's like in this dead center, you have this beautiful new beginning energy here. Willing to give it a chance by the looks of it. Someone who's very focused. Someone who, who knows what they want. And probably someone who's open to you. Okay, Sag? So here you go. Just looking at the past. Looking at the past. Because you're not really confident in making the decision to... And I'm seeing two tens here. Why? I'm not sure why you're not confident in it. Maybe because you pretended to have a lot of love or maybe because at one point you did have a lot of love. Maybe because you guys built something special, like some sort of a home together. But you are not wanting to make the decision to end it. Um, maybe because you feel vulnerable. Maybe you don't want everyone to see this. Maybe you just keep on avoiding it. Maybe you don't believe that you deserve to have, look at this beautiful pentacle in the center there. Maybe you don't believe you deserve that deep down inside. So who is this princess of pentacles or this new beginning energy? Well, whoever it is, I do feel this is meant to be in the reverse for real. It's someone you're not. <sighs> you want to, but you're not. 
talking to or you're not communicating with. You're lying to yourself is what I'm getting here. Let's pull one more on that. Oh, wow. It's a queen of, of pentacles. Waiting for you. I think this princess knows your situation. I think she knows that there's some stuff that has to be ended here. And it looks like this person is waiting for you. But look at, you're not really, you're in reverse here. I don't know. There's something about when you do go forward, you always do it wrong or you say the wrong thing or you don't go fully or something like that. So I do think you've made attempts. Um, but you're still stuck in your head. So that makes sense. That's why. Let's see what's coming up here with this five of cups energy. I guess there could be um, children involved, but I mean, there really could be with these two energies coming out. You don't want to leave them feeling broken or sad. Um, you also want to keep this image of being the provider. I do feel that that's what the situation is there for that. And for the Eight of Swords, yeah, so they are the, the problem or for the outcome, right? You have this energy of just going around in circles with someone, probably because you are worried about losing your palace. You are worried about losing the home. It's really interesting because fire signs so far all have a very similar message. So, I mean, that's awesome, but it's nice to have the breakdown, right? Okay, Sag, so I'm going to move on to Leo's. I thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this message. Um, it's just a message to tell you what's up right now. Okay, guys, bye for now. Okay, okay. hi, Leo's. I hope you're doing well. Just clearing the cards up here. I already saw a lot of fire energy, so that's interesting. While wow, we already have a card flipping out or coming out. Um, let me just get your cards and we'll begin. Thank you so much for joining me. Two. Three. Oops, this down. Four. And one more for now. There we go. That came quick. Let's begin with your first message. Oh my gosh, we're starting with the tower. What is going on? And the way that I'm seeing like the cards stick out, I'm seeing some energy of a king here and a prince here and oh my gosh. Okay, so the situation, the tower, change is happening here. Um, something maybe dissolving, ending. Fire signs have a very common theme. So it's really cool to do the reading like this to see that I could have literally done a general fire sign reading and the messages are really similar. Um, you're starting with the tower. The other two started with tens, you know, like there's something over, there's something ending, there's something. Um, and you know what it could be? It could be anything, even just a challenge. But what I'm noticing is someone's crown here. There could have been a divorce. I am seeing the two people that we normally see, but they don't look like kings and queens. It could just be like randoms. Um, this could be someone really wanted to end something and they may have done it. If you're dealing with uh, Aries, you might want to go check that out. And the other message I get from this is that like, you may not have to do anything. This is the universe at play here. Okay. So there's some sort of a huge change happening. Uh, that's clear. Okay, what's the challenge here? We have the Princess of Swords, which is equivalent to the Page of Swords. Someone probably said the truth, spoke the truth, maybe prematurely, maybe abruptly. abruptly. You may be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sometimes we can say things and they can literally bring the tower down. Maybe we didn't mean to say it. <laughs> like, I'm just saying we can say some real strong, blunt truths. Um, really directed, right? So you might be dealing with someone who really, like, said something to hurt or said something to make a point or said something to bring something down. Okay. Um, I mean, that is what it's 
what's coming up for the challenge, this air energy. This is about communication of some sort, or maybe someone saw something, right, that brought this situation to this new level of crazy. Okay, let's see what the guidance is for this situation. The Two of Wands, it's about making a decision. It's about making a decision. Oh, well, now I'm seeing the other cards. Yeah, for sure. So it's about making a decision, probably in a love situation now when I see the king here, but hey, it doesn't matter. Um, it's about like just making that decision, taking that first step. Someone may give, have given an ultimatum to you, Leo. Then I said, what are you going to do? Like pick me or, or them, one or the other. You know, one thing I see, the reason why someone's not making this decision, they're worried. They're like, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I want them both or something like that. But um, I mean, I see the clouds are going to clear. Someone's going to be able to make a decision. I'm not sure who, because I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so let's see what they're focused on. So I'm going to say already, like, this person is focused on someone. And it doesn't seem to be this demanding person. That's one thing I'm going to say. And if anything, because I'm seeing the final card sticking out, Leo, it's you. This person, it may be a King of Cups energy, is focused on you. Someone is forcing them to make a decision or something. You know, it really could just be guidance from the universe. Because remember I said there's external forces at play here. I really do feel that. They may be saying, hey, it's time. We're going to send a crazy woman to you if you don't go and make a decision. There's definitely someone here who's more serious and someone here who's more flexible and um, sexual. And I believe that's you, Leo. You're right here in your reading. Okay, so let's clarify a little. This tower energy, this, whoa, the situation. I mean, this could have to do with separation. Someone saying, hey, I want to go. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to give you a little bit. Um, because it's like this person's holding all the power, right? They have the scales. Um, oh, gosh. I think someone, you know, I do think that there's been... Um, Someone was giving to two people. I'm getting straight up. This is a third party situation. And someone's saying, I want to go now. They finally spoke up. The, the fire signs are very um, similar. I've made a choice. I want to be with my lover. I want to go over there. Even if it's someone they've already been with, that might be the other thing. Like, I want to go back to my ex. I want to go back to this person I'm in love with, this Leo energy. And, uh -huh. you know, and let's see what this. So. So this is what I get here, okay? Like, this person was giving to two people. Who is it? It may be your person, okay, Leos? Uh, this person was giving to two people. It's caught up with them some way, one way or another. Someone's come over to them and said, probably their present partner, who's really done a lot of manipulation to try and keep this going, to be honest. Like, you shouldn't be that angry. Anyhow, she said, give make a choice pick and pick tell me now i want to know now type of an energy okay um trying to be manipulative too now for the two of the, the wands here is coming in reverse and this is the guidance and it's not in reverse it actually did a triple flip but it's in the upright the guidance is for this person yeah you know what you got to do it's time to leave this childish energy here there is i believe um, and Earth's are sorry, not an Earth sign, uh, air sign possibly getting left. Okay, Queen of Swords energy, Page of Swords energy, because they're immature too. It's like a wife energy or someone they were more serious with. Um, but the guidance this person knows, make that choice, walk through that door, get out of there, get out. Okay, and then the focus this person right now, I'm seeing what their focus is on, and it's you. Um, their focus is on building something new. Their focus is on having a new home, going to a new place. What they're also worrying about or thinking about is finances, okay? Like, how can I purchase a new home? How can I leave out of here? Or what can I do? Um, do I leave the house to this miserable person or not? Or I don't know. I'm not saying that the person's miserable, but it looks like she's really mean. I just get that vibe from there, okay? And I'm uh, air sign. So, like, I'm not, you know, trying to be 
whatever. I'm just saying what the vibe is I'm getting. So this person's really contemplating right now, what should I do? Is this possible? I'm about to go and make my wildest dreams come true. I'm about to go for this sexy mama, you know, like the one that I truly want type of a thing. So the outcome energy. Wow, we have the king of swords here. Interesting. So this tells me that you're very sure of what you want here. You're very ready. I think you've had a lot of time to think about this with the hermit here at the bottom. Um, you have your eyes set when it's, you know, the king of swords here and the queen of cups or the king of cups here. This is a true love energy. You're releasing yourself, Leo, or whoever this person is. Sorry. The person may be an air sign you're dealing with. I just feel like it's relevant possibly. Um, but someone may be releasing themselves from what seems like a jail, you know, and speaking their truth and going towards you. So, Leo, what a beautiful message. Uh, there's nothing more to say with that. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like the format. It's just a quicker way to do the readings for the end of the month. And I just wanted to get everyone a message out, you know, for the last day of the month. But I will see you next month with lots of extended Zodiac videos and all other sorts. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate everyone that's joined my Patreon and all of that stuff. Okay, guys. Bye for now.